pulled my camera out. You know what that means. <laughs> you can't find your frisbee? Or you didn't want to take the time? Oh, I did not kick that very good. Come here. See it? Okay, watch out. Watch out. All right, guys. Um, it's morning. It is Thursday morning, and just got done feeding the boys, giving them their uh, medications. Just got done picking up land. Um, uh, we have someone coming to mow our yard today, and I'm hoping they'll be able to mulch up some of those leaves over there. It's terrible trying to find the landmines with the leaves. Our tractor's broke. Uh, it's at at Family Farm and Home, where we bought it, they have a repair shop at one of their locations, and they're waiting on a, that ball's not very easy to kick, <laughs> um, waiting on parts to fix it, so we had to have our lawn mowed last week, and um, for the future, until whenever they can get the parts in, and who knows, since shipping and parts have been hard to get lately, I'm telling you guys, Shortages are coming. I know I keep saying this. It already is. The, the canned cat food at my Meyer is wiped out. I don't know about PetSmart because I don't shop at PetSmart much. Um, I know I've been able to get my food on Chewy still. Uh, but the holes in foods at my grocery stores here too. I really think everybody should have at least a three month supply of items they use every day. Especially food and dog food. Um, anyways, I'll stop preaching. <laughs> Wanted to make this quick video though um, to uh, respond to a comment I saw in yesterday's video. Um, I don't usually do that, but I figure if one person thinks this, maybe other people think this. I'm not sure. Okay, Miggy, I've got to talk for a minute. I got to talk for a minute. Um, maybe some other people think this as well. I had a comment telling me they named a couple states that must be around them that these states do not allow dogs to be uh, to be pulled and pull behind trailers. Um, I think they gathered because I said we were renting a U-Haul which I clearly stated a van, a cargo van. I think they thought we were renting a pull behind trailer to pull behind my van. I'm not totally sure um, how they got that idea. Because in my video, I clearly stated we were renting a cargo van. Um, so I just want to make it clear in this video that my boys will not be put in a pull behind trailer. They will be inside a van with us. Um, that ball's not easy to kick. <laughs> go find your, hey, go get your Frisbee. Go find your Frisbee. I see it over there by Milo. Go get your Frisbee. Get your Frisbee. Um, it's like a work van. It's got two seats in the front and the whole back end is open. I'll videotape it when we pick it up. Um, the dogs will be inside with us. We will be able to see. Get your Frisbee, Maggie. Go find your frisbee. That's not a frisbee. Go get your frisbee. Go on. Go find it. Go find it. Um, yeah, so we will be able to see our dogs. They will be inside the vehicle with us. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. I'm not sure the, how they got that idea that we were running a pull behind trailer. I'm not sure. Um, so I just want to make that clear in case anyone else may think that's what we were renting um so just i wasn't planning on doing a video today but i just i did not want anyone to think that i would never ever put my dogs in a pull behind trailer in their crates and not be able to see them um and if you've been watching my videos for a long time you would know too that i would never ever do that so 
All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna get going. It's chilly this morning here in Michigan. I had to put a little jacket on uh, to clean up landmines. It's cold, but I love it. <laughs> I'm over the heat and humidity. Yes, I am. Um, and great tips for my list. Some people said I should add Benadryl, and I totally thought about that when I was watching the video back editing it. I was thinking I should take some Benadryl because what if somebody's allergic to something up there? Because they're going to be on a totally different um, type of yard. It's going to be sand. And yes, they are on a flea and tick preventative. So if there's any kind of sand fleas or fleas or ticks up there, they are on a preventative. Um, flea and tick. Um, so got that taken care of. They take heartworm too. So that's taken care of. Um, People also mentioned like a first aid kit. Yes, I'll be putting something like that together too. So I'm gonna add all that to my list. So thank you guys for reminding me of that. Also, a lot of people said, don't forget a dog brush. Totally agree. <laughs> totally agree. I may have to brush the end out of the beard, who knows? So yes, thank you guys so much for reminding me of these couple things for my list. So, all right guys, I'm gonna get going. <clears throat> Excuse me, my sinuses, my allergies are, kicking today um got lots to do i've got the upstairs to clean i got to steam clean the carpets up there <clears throat> one of the kitties um threw up up there a hairball so i've got a steam clean um lots to do before we leave and someone will be here with the, the house there will be people here staying at the house taking care of kitties my daughter's not coming with us um she's staying here and there will be other people here <clears throat> with her so um she will be home taking care of kitties, so they will be fine, um, and the house will be fine. Um, there's security here at the house. Cameras and other, I'll just say other. <laughs> so um, my daughter and those who are staying here will be safe. So it's just my husband and I going and the boys. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.